Hi guys, so in this video I am going to show you all how to use the FXCM platform to actually take trades when you receive trade alerts from me. So here's an example of an alert I sent earlier. This is long euro USD buy at 1.3605, stop at 1.3570, risk 35 pips and target 1.3640. So for someone who's new to Forex trading, this might just sound really foreign to you and I don't blame you guys. I was like that too at one point. So how do you go about it? Well, right now we are looking at the online platform for FXCM trading station and the link for that is that. Once you log into it um, through your password and username, you come across a screen like this. I kind of have my layout a little more customized and you can customize your layout by going to view and adding or removing certain things for instance I added a message board here so you can always move it around on this side or you can move it down you just have to tweak it a little just to make the appearance more um, user friendly for yourself pretty much so here we are this was what we were looking at so okay how are we going to take this trade there's multiple ways to actually take a trade on the trading station. One is you can go on the advanced dealing rates. So when you click on this, they show you different um, currency pairs and their current rates. Um, as you can see, the Euro USD is the very first one. You can see the sell price is at 1.36038 and the buy price is at 36062. So the difference between that, the, the 3.8 and 6.2 is 2.4 pips. The 2.4 pips is the commission that uh, the brokers make on this trade. That's how it works. Um, you also see that there's a rollover number. This shows that if you sell, for instance, you will make 3 cents of interest um, on your trade if you are in this position for 24 hours or more and if you buy it it's negative eight cents um, the, these things could be a little more technical but it's a very small um, interest that is either gained or lost on your end or sort of a fee that you have to pay for clearing house brokerage so okay how can we do it through this we are deciding on either doing buy or sell so let's just say we decide to do buy we click here we get the account number, we get the symbol, it says buy or sell, you put in the amount K. Now amount is not how much money it's going to cost you, it's just how much of a certain currency pair you're going to buy. So to buy 1000 euros, you need to have at least $32 in your account. That's what the margin is telling you. And that also tells you that if the trade moves in any direction in your direction or against you it's gonna cost you 10 cents or you're gonna make 10 cents per pip as it moves and the rate is actually um, the current market price on, at which you're going to buy and as you can see this is a market order market orders really mean that as soon as you enter the trade um, all the information you're gonna be entered into the trade right away so this is how it goes. You buy at the current price 1.3606 and our goal was to buy it at 1.3605 and the stop, this is the most important aspect of trading is the stop because it tells you how much you're risking per trade and we decided that our stop was going to be 3570 or in this case you can see over here it says negative 33.7 that means you're risking about 33.7 pips on this trade if you take the trade right now and our limit is 3.640 which is the target so about 33.9 so we are risking 33.8 pips or 33.7 pips and our goal is to make 33.9 pips in profit so if we just take one you know one k or one thousand of the euros versus do the dollar 
we need to have at least $32 in our account for margin purposes and we will be making 10 cents or losing 10 cents per pip. That means if this trade goes against us, we are going to lose about $3.37. But if it goes in our favor, we will make about $3.39. So this is one way of actually taking the trade. You go on the advanced dealing rates, you click on buy or sell, and then it opens up this um, box for create market order. Now, this is you can also click here and this is kind of a really neat tool This shows you right away what's happening with the trade at the current moment so where it is so if you want we can actually just take this trade right now to get an idea of what's gonna happen and here we go we'll just click buy and we go back to Euro USD. I already had an earlier position but we just joined in and this is the most recent position we took and as you can see you're already down by negative two pips negative 2.7 pips so what that means is that that is actually the commission that the brokerage has taken on on that so first of all the trade will have to move in a positive direction by two pips before you even start making money before until then um, the brokerage is making money based on their spread now the other way that you can do this is you can go on the simple dealing rate same thing buy or sell I like this a lot better than the advanced dealing rate because it's much more clean it tells you the spread or commission is 2.5 the highest it, um, this trade has gone is at 3.611 lowest is 602 these are the rollovers pip cost is 10 cents so this pip cost is based on a micro lot or just 1k again you just click on buy or sell you can buy it put in the same information and you'll have a market order that means you will be in the trade right away now a lot of times I send you guys trades which are not necessarily ready let's just say if I sent you a trade which said that the buy rate should be at 1.3620 so let's just actually do that let's just make this um, let's just say I sent you a trade and I'm saying that buy at 3.620 okay that's the buy rate so obviously the price is it currently at 3.3603 it, it hasn't hit that level yet so what do you do you can either go on the advanced dealing rate or simple dealing rate or if you're on the chart for Euro US, USD, you just do the right click on your mouse and go to create entry order. This is important, entry order. So what that does is it asks you, do you want to buy or sell? So we're going to buy, we're going to buy 1K, and we're going to buy at a certain rate. And the rate that we're looking at is 1.3620 our stop is still going to be 3570 which is about 47.6 pips it should be about 50 pips but you have to um, put in the spread that's being taken by uh, the brokerage and our limit is still going to be let's just say 40 and this is an entry order that means it will not trigger right away like a market order does so we'll go ahead and press OK and as you can see here it is the entry fee will be at 3.620 so if the price is 3.620 we will enter the trade our limit is 20 pips and our stop is right down here um, at about 50 pips that's the trade that we will take and if you need to cancel this trade no problem you can just right click on this and remove entry order boom so when I send you trade and let's just say I sent you at 3.600 and the price is at 3.6035 you can just go on this create market order and you can get in the trade right away buy or sell you know, put the stop limit um, the most important thing that you need to keep in mind is 
how much are you risking? So let's just say you have a $1,000 account. Your goal is not to not to risk more than 1% per trade. So that means I expect you to only risk $10 on this trade. So if you have a $1,000 account, um, we are risking about 35 pips on this trade. And I don't want you to risk more than $10 in total. So that means you're probably going to take a trade with about 30 cents per pip in risk because if you think about it that's almost ten dollars of risk on this trade and three thousand um, or three mini micro lots that you'll be taking and your goal would be to hit three point six four zero that might sound confusing what I just said so I'll just repeat myself again let's just say you have a thousand dollar account so your goal is to not risk more than ten dollars a trade how do you calculate that risk you calculate it based on what your entry point is on the trade and what your stop loss is so that gives you how many risk how many pips you're going to be risking now once you know that you then look at the price per pip and you multiply that with the risk amount or with the pips that you're risking and that should equal to 1% of your entire equity. So if you have a $1,000 account, 34.4 pips times 0.3 should be about $11, which is 1.1%, 1.2% of your equity, which should be fine. And that's all you want to be risking on this trade, and you press OK to get into the position. I hope this video makes sense to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and I will try to clarify more things for you. But, rem but remember that it's really important for you guys to keep your risk in mind, your margin is really important and don't try to over trade. And when I'm sending you orders, most of them are pending orders so you have plenty of time to get into those. You don't have to take a market order, just make sure it's not a market order based on the pricing of that trade and put in an entry order more than likely and that should be it if you guys have any other questions for me do let me know once again this is awesome and i hope you guys have a great day happy trading goodbye